Now at five, developing news. All three escaped Orange County inmates are back behind bars. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrea Fujii. And I'm Peter Dow. Police nabbed Hussein Nayeri and Jonathan Tu this morning outside a Whole Foods market near Golden Gate Park. The pair, along with inmate Bok Duong, broke out of the Orange County Jail a week ago. Duong turned himself in yesterday. The other two fled to the Bay Area and were spotted in San Jose last night. San Francisco police arrested them this morning thanks to a tip from an observant man. We have live team coverage with Greg Mills in Santa Ana and Andrea Borba in San Francisco. We begin with Greg. And Peter, the one thing the Sheriff's Department says today that they don't know is who gave the escapees the tools, the tools that could cut through rebar from their jail uh, area and then get out onto that roof and then shimmy down the side of it to safety and freedom. I think I did a big whoop in the air, you know. Sheriff Sandra Hutchins had reason to celebrate. With Jonathan Tu and Hossein Nairi caught in San Francisco, all three of these inmates who escaped eight days ago are back in custody. The entire state can breathe a sigh of relief. Bok Duan is back in jail here. The other two will be headed back here when investigators are done with them in San Francisco. Because they are escape risks, they will be housed in a different uh, area in a different manner. And not together. After the first Orange County jail escapes in more than 20 years, things are changing inside this jail, which is considered old, outdated. But now the focus shifts uh, to continuing to look at where the system failed us. Believe me, we will, we will be looking top to bottom on that. The Association of Orange County Deputy Sheriffs says they gave this letter to Sheriff Hutchins, asking for the immediate removal of Captain Wilson from his command of the central jail. They told us this is Captain Chris Wilson and claim he directed jail staff to ignore department policy on counting inmates. They believe that's the reason the three got a huge head start in their escape before the sheriff's department even knew they were missing. But we've made a number of changes so far to tighten up security specific to the men's central jail. But the sheriff told us she has not made any personnel changes. As for the three inmates, in addition to the serious charges they were already facing if convicted, now they can look for more prison time because of the jailbreak. Jonathan, too, could face an additional nine years in prison because of the escape. But that's because of a prior prison sentence that he's had. The, uh, the other two, their maximum penalty for the escape is three years. One thing he added is that those who tried to help them escape could face the same amount of prison time. By the way, the ESL teacher could be arraigned, he said, on Monday morning. Peter, Andrea.